Ever wondered why you have food intolerances? It seems to get more and more common. And as soon as you have one intolerance, you seem to get reactions to other foods. Has this happened to you? So why does it happen? Well, before we discuss this, my name is Belinda. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm very passionate about helping women recover from autoimmune problems, thyroid issues, sleeping issues, energy issues, anxiety problems, and even weight issues. So why do we have so many food intolerances and what causes it? Well, one possible reason is that you could be deficient in an enzyme called diamine oxidase. Now, this is the enzyme that is responsible for breaking down histamines. Okay, now histamines can come from many different things, including foods. So foods that are actually high in histamines are going to be fermented foods. Okay, uh, wine, vinegar, uh, aged cheese, cured meats, alcohol, avocados. Even though avocados are very good for you, they are high in histamines. Okay, so maybe you've had reactions to all of, some of these foods. Uh, chocolate black tea, uh, eggs, mustard, okay, nuts, soy, spinach, strawberries, tomatoes. Okay, so all these foods are high in histamines. Now, when you have a histamine reaction, some things that you can experience can be things like headaches, uh, migraines, um, stuffy sinus, okay, uh, diarrhea, asthma, palpitations, okay, that's not much fun. Uh, red skin, hives is very common, uh, vertigo, and even low blood pressure, okay? So these are some things that you can experience when you're having a histamine reaction. And some things that you can actually do to uh, improve how your body reacts to certain foods. Oh, I'm a kid in coming here. Come here, shut the door, shut the door. No. I'm just doing a live. Why? I don't know why this morning everyone wants to come in when we're doing this. Okay, so you can replace some of these foods with uh, low histamine foods. Now, low histamine foods are going to be things like uh, capsicum or bell peppers if you're in the States, uh, asparagus, nope. uh, blueberries, cabbage, cauliflower grass-fed beef, okay, leafy greens, turkey, uh, fish, white fish, uh, green tea, even liver, okay, squash or zucchini. So replacing those high histamine foods with lower histamine foods can be one thing you can do uh, to help make your body make more of this enzyme. Something else which I have recently just read is you can actually increase how your body makes this enzyme by taking in a grass-fed kidney, okay? Apparently, grass-fed kidney is high in this enzyme and that can actually help you uh, respond better to histamine reactions. Anyway, uh, I hope you found this useful and if you have histamine reactions or sensitivities to food, uh, then let me know what... What are you sensitive to? I've had some really, really quirky ones come up over the years. So it's very interesting to find out. Anyway, I will talk to you at this time tomorrow. You have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.